Yo guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you most demanding tutorial, 3D style documentary editing like Sivanshu Agarwal in a light motion. And here's the preview. Now let me show you how to use AI in these kind of projects to create consistent character for documentary style just use your character image and modify it with a prompt you will get results using a simple description prompt like this the same can be done in google gemini just go to google gemini which is almost free you can upload your image as shown as in the screenshot type a prompt like he is using a phone back view keep the second reference image as a mobile screen and you will get results like this and continue making similar prompts to get the results you need like this make him sit in a cozy room dim light laptop on table he's talking on camera and you can see the result is mind blowing so that's how you can create consistent character image as a storyboard with nano banana in google gemini or any platform you can use just complete this storyboard by continue making this kind of image and if you are still confused just go to my youtube channel and watch these two videos i have explained a step by step process and finally i'm gonna create it from scratch and don't skip the video enable your preferred language by clicking settings audio track before starting the tutorial i want to tell you i have added a link in the description to download the assets and make sure you hype and like this video and subscribe my channel for more tutorials like this now let's dive in click on the plus icon and add your image layers you can see that i have imported two images one is the original image with the background and the other is the same image with the background already removed now we need to add a null object a null is an invisible layer that controls the movement of other layers click on your main image layer and go to the parenting icon to link it with the null one object again do the same for the transparent layer now if we move the null both images will move together to ensure the images are perfectly aligned with your project area select each layer and click the three dot menu then choose stretch to composition area select null one and open the move and transform tab tap the keyframe icon to lock the current position now scrub forward to 130 and add keyframe for z position when we increase value the image appears to zoom in because we are moving the image closer to the camera on the z axis Select an ease out curve, this means the animation will start fast and gently slow down at the end so it works smoother because the transition isn't sudden. We already have the base zoom on null. Select the transparent image layer and go to the effects tab. Add the fade in out effect. We'll set the in duration to a short 0.30 seconds. Now tap the three dot menu next to the effect name and select copy effect. Next, select the background image layer and tap the three dot menu at the bottom and select paste effect. Both layers now have the identical quick fade in applied which ensures they appear together seamlessly. Navigate your playhead to 105. Now click the plus icon and select object slash element to create a null 2 layer. Select null 1 and tap the parenting icon to link it to null 2. This is a hierarchy where null 2 is the parent and null 1 along with all its children the image layers are now controlled by it. Add a keyframe for position at the beginning and add the 3 second mark. Adjust the position and ease the graph for a subtle zoom and pan camera motion. We now have a smooth seamless camera motion which is the direct cause of using the null hierarchy. Next let's create a vector drawing shape layer at the 1.04 second mark in the timeline. Click the plus icon, select shape and choose the vector drawing option. Now you can draw a custom line by marking the points like this. Since this will be an outline, navigate to color and fill and make sure the fill color is set to none. Now inside the border and shadow tab, enable the stroke, select the shape layer and go to the parenting icon. Parent this shape layer to null 1. If you parent the shape here, it will automatically inherit the entire complex movement. Both the initial zoom and the subtle pan so it works smoothly. The line now has definition because we activated the stroke and adjusted its parameters. This separation of border and fill gives us better control over the final drawing animation effect. The shape needs an update. Select shape 1 and go to edit shape slash points. Here we can change the vector points to give the line a more intentional curved look like an arrow pointing up. You can manipulate the bezier handles to adjust the curve. You can apply this so it works smoother because of the vector controls allowing you to fine tune the arc of the line independent of the main camera move. Now the wipe effect is added and setting the end value to 73% and feather the value to 28. Select the border settings and select the arrow from stroke and adjust the settings. Now let's adjust the angle of the shape layer by setting its volume to negative 11. This small rotation ensures the arrow is perfectly aligned and pointing toward the subject's head. 
विच इज अ की कॉज एंड इफेक्ट फॉर विजुअल डायरेक्शन सेलेक्ट द शेप लेयर एंड एट द ड्रॉइंग प्रोग्रेस इफेक्ट वेन यू प्ले दिस बैक द लाइन अपियर्स टू ड्रॉ इट सेल्फ फ्रॉम स्टार्ट टू फिनिश यू कैन ऑल्सो एडजस्ट द कर्व फ्रॉम द सेटिंग्स इफ नीडेड Now we'll add the text that will be introduced by this drawing. Click the plus icon, select text and type in it's me. I'll adjust the font, color and size and then position it near the end of our drawn line. Now we parent this text layer to null 1. This is essential. The text will follow null 1 zoom and pan working smoothly because it's part of the established camera group. To make the text reveal smoothly, first adjust the position of the text and then go to the blending and opacity tab. we will keyframe the opacity property set a keyframe at the start then move forward a few frames to 1.40 and set it to 100% navigate back to the keyframe at the beginning and set the value to 0% the text then fades in smoothly so it works better than a sudden cut because of the gradual transition As you play this back you can see that we have successfully created a smooth animation and a text redirection effect giving it that polished documentary style for a quick impactful transition we introduce a new controller null 3 we then parent the current master controller null 2 to null 3 this establishes the third level of our control hierarchy select null 3 and go to move and transform set a keyframe at beginning Now navigate the playhead to 4.55 and add a keyframe to change the x position to around 105.2. Ease the curve for a smooth animation and this is how it looks like. We previously introduced null 3 and parented null 2 to it. Now we import our new image layer and ensure it's parented to null 1. This links the new image to the original camera movements. Move the layer forward by adjusting the value of z axis. add keyframes at 004.13 adjust the position of the layer by dragging it down in the timeline set the newly added image behind the transparent layer so that the transition effect can be made animate the z position to create a subtle push in and the x position to smoothly pan the shot to the right bringing the new subject and environment into view after making the adjustments you will get a smooth transition effect like this next we need to move the transparent layer out of the way select it and go to move and transform Add a keyframe at 3.49 and another at 4.43 second. By changing the x position, you can sweep the subject entirely out of the frame. Apply an ease out curve to this motion for a smooth dynamic transition. You can adjust the animation duration by long pressing the keyframe and slide the position so that the output can be modified accordingly. Adjust the graph again for a smooth animation and this is how the output looks like. Now let's place the playhead at the 4.20 second mark. Tap on the plus icon and add a new null object. Select the entire null 3 group and parent it to this new null 4. Now, animate null 4 in move and transform. Set a keyframe and then change the x position to pan the entire scene further left, framing the subject nicely. Use an ease out curve for smooth acceleration and this is how the output looks like. Now place the playhead on 5.08 seconds in your timeline. Click on the plus icon and add a new null object. Select the null 4 layer and link the null 5 layer to it. Now let's add motion to the null 5 layer. For that select the null 5 layer and the add a keyframe for position at the beginning. Navigate to the 6.30 second in the timeline and add another keyframe. Adjust the position of the image so that the entire image should be visible. Drag the keyframe by long pressing if any adjustment is needed. Now we need to add a smooth animation to the entire elements on the screen by adding another controller. For that we will create another null object. Add another null object, null six at zero zero six point one nine. 
Select the Null 5 layer and link the Null 6 layer to it. Now let's add motion to the Null 6 layer. For that, select Null 6 and in Move and Transform, adjust the Z position to move the anchor point right into the center of the old TV screen. Add a keyframe, then move the playhead to 008.10 and change the Z position dramatically to achieve a huge flying zoom right into the monitor. Let's add a transition effect so that the monitor screen should entirely be covered in this keyframe. Ease the curve for a smooth animation. Now for the color effect. Select the main image layer and go to the effects panel. Add the saturation slash vibrance effect. Keyframe the saturation value from 0.0% at the beginning of the clip to negative 69.0% later in the clip. This creates a strong moody transition from a full color opening to a muted black and white style. The television screen showing the black area is transparent and hence we can see the image at the back through it. So let's place our playhead at the 6.19 second timestamp and add the image layer that we want to show on the TV screen. You can directly drag and adjust the scale and pinch the image to scale the image from the canvas. Set the position correctly and link the layer to null 6. You can adjust the position of the image which shows inside the television screen to fit it correctly inside it. This locks the image to that small screen space. To make the video smoothly appear inside the TV, go to the Blending and Opacity settings. Animate the opacity from 0% to 100% using keyframes. For that add a keyframe at the beginning and another at the point you want to reveal the screen. Set the starting keyframe to 0 and reveal keyframe to 100. You can long press and adjust the keyframe for altering the animation duration. Now let's add another transparent image layer. Click on the plus icon and add your image layers. Select the layer and parent it with the null 6 layer. Bring the layer to front by adjusting the Z axis value. You can directly adjust the image from the canvas by pinching or moving the layer. After placing the image at the correct position, add a keyframe at the beginning and another at the 10.06 mark. Navigate back to the first keyframe and move the image outside the screen. Now ease the curve for smooth animation. For a smooth camera effect, let's add another null layer. Link the null 7 to the null 6 layer. Now let's trim the television layer since we don't want it on the camera out position. Now let's add the keyframe for null layer at the beginning and at the 11.02 seconds keyframe. Now we can see the black background which can be fixed by scaling the background image layer. Preview the animation again and adjust the scale and position if needed. Let's fix this by scaling and positioning image layers and then adjust the null layer. After adjusting the position and scale of the images, let's stretch the layer in timeline by selecting the three layers together and click on the extend icon. Now let's preview the video and add a null layer before the current animation ends. This is the basic principle that we need to apply for a smooth animation. Select the null 7 layer and parent it with the null 8 layer. Now go the null 8 layer and add keyframes for position at the beginning and at the 11.13 seconds mark and adjust the position. Always remember to ease the curve for the smooth animation.
Now add a new null layer at the 10.34 seconds and select the null 8 layer and parent it with the null 9 layer. Add a keyframe at the beginning and at the 12.34 seconds and adjust the position so that the entire element slides outside to the right. Ease the curve and import the next image layer. Parent the image layer with the null 8 layer. Now we need to repeat the process that we done earlier so that a masking transition will obtain. For that adjust the z-axis position of the newly added image layer and scale it to fit inside our composition. You can slide the layers in timeline to adjust the timing. Fix the position of the newly added image layer so that the character is focused. Let's place our playhead at the 11.50 seconds and add another null object for smooth camera movement. Select the null 9 layer and parent it with the null 10 layer. Add a keyframe at the start and 15.33 seconds. Adjust the image scaling and position so that the image aligns perfectly. Ease the curve and this is how it looks like. For our final shot, let's add a professional touch with a camera layer. Navigate to the beginning of our project and add a camera layer from the object and elements tab. Make sure that the camera view is enabled by clicking on the camera icon. In the camera options, enable focus blur. Select the camera layer and extend it till the end of our timeline. We're going to create a rack focus effect by animating the focus distance. Set keyframes on the focus distance to shift the viewer's attention smoothly from one subject to another for example, from the text in the background to the person in the foreground. You can always ease the curve for a smooth transition. This technique adds depth and a high quality feel to your edit. Continue adjusting the keyframes for the focus distance throughout your final clips. Animate it to follow the action, keeping your main subject sharp while beautifully blurring the background and foreground. By mastering these null object hierarchies and camera focus techniques, you can create complex and engaging documentary style edits. And that's how you can create a documentary style animation using a light motion.